Tomorrow, Brass Tax looks at Northern Ireland in the second of two programmes. The Anglo-Irish agreement has caused deep anger in the Protestant community of Northern Ireland. But the sight of flag-waving loyalists attacking policemen has prompted many of their fellow citizens in the rest of the kingdom to ask, to whom are the loyalists loyal? No doubt that's one of the questions that will be asked in the Brass Tax studio this week when Northern Ireland's leading politicians from both communities confront a British mainland audience. They'll try to convince us of the rightness of their particular case. Mrs Thatcher has said that Northern Ireland is as British as Finchley, but do the British think so too? Join us and find out. Brass Tax is tomorrow at 8.20 on BBC Two. BBC One begins an investigation of murder in just over five minutes in a film starring Walter Matthau as an obsessively dedicated policeman on the trail of the killers. In 25 minutes here on BBC Two, Newsnight includes a look at world reaction to the announcement that America is going to abandon the SALT II Treaty. There's an exclusive interview with Crown Prince Hassan, Jordan's foreign affairs advisor, following the Prime Minister's visit to the Middle East at the weekend. And on the day before Ian Botham appears before the Test and County Cricket Board, two of the sport's leading figures discuss the issues at stake. That's all in Newsnight at 10.45. Now on to David Allen makes the introductions as the stars sing country. Radio 2's Country Club with Wally Whiten features Johnny Cash recorded in concert at the Wembley Festival. That's tomorrow at 7 on Radio 2 VHF FM. In 50 minutes here on BBC 2, we've highlight of today's cricket and the Benson and Hedges quarter-final between Essex and Nottinghamshire. That's after the midweek edition of Newsnight. They've travelled the last mile looking for agreement on strategic weapons with the Soviet Union. Now the Americans say the SALT II Treaty could be a dead letter as soon as August. Good evening. The American Defense Secretary, Caspar Weinberger, says the United States is no longer bound by the SALT II Treaty, and it may break its terms by the autumn. Moscow accuses Washington of a pile of lies designed to conceal its responsibility for the breakdown. Denzel Davis MP, Labour's defense spokesman, and Lord Chalfont argue over the American decision and its possible consequences. And Crown Prince Hassan, Jordan's foreign affairs advisor, in an exclusive interview, warns that failure to settle the Palestinian question is merely feeding religious fundamentalism and fanaticism in and outside the Middle East. And a blast of ill wind for the government from the traditionally moderate union of head teachers. Meeting in Cardiff, they've passed a motion of no confidence in the government's education policies. David Sells has been learning why. Trying times for Ian Botham, the Test and County Cricket Board sit in judgment on his cannabis confession tomorrow. We test cricket's divided loyalty on the issue tonight with former England captain Mike Deness and Frank Keating of The Guardian. And all the rest of the news tonight, both home and abroad. It's a flawed agreement. We're no longer bound by it. We'll exceed its limits in three months. And with those words, the American Defence Secretary, Caspar Weinberger, in effect, signed the death warrant of the SALT II Treaty. Yesterday